feeling pretty good still um, because it's a great accomplishment and uh, we feel lucky to be able to represent the Midwest. Um, and as far as our chances, um, you know, one and eight chance. So if we play well, um, I think that we have the ability to win any game that we're in. So nothing changes there. You guys have played so many close games throughout the season. How has that helped prepare you for these moments? Well, you, you draw on everything that you've done in the past to give you experience and you know give you a little bit of a blueprint on how to do things. But um, I imagine these games are going to be, you know, a little bit different, and uh, we'll have to figure it out on the fly and see if we can't uh, finish them off and win them. You're one of the few number one seeds remaining. What's it been like playing with that target on your back the entire tournament? Um, it's been the same as all year. Um, the target was on our back this year, and we embraced that, and we did well. Yeah, preparation stays pretty much the same, you know, doing what, what has gotten us here to this point, so we're going to keep it the same. Uh, what do we know about Barry? We know that, uh, you know, they definitely deserve to be in the Elite Eight and studying the film. They're uh, very explosive on offense, and they can really shoot the basketball. Um, it, it's been a while since we've played a team with, with five shooters on the floor as long as they have five shooters on the floor. So. Um, that'll be a challenge, and uh, we're looking forward to it. And kind of, I mean, you guys have had the success in the GLIAC the last few years, but could you kind of see your roster forming to kind of being this a year where you're making a run for the national title? Yeah. Um, as a coach, you say, you know, every, this year is the year. Every year, that's what you say. So, um, you know, we went into this season saying the same thing. You know, now's the time. Um, but on the other hand, we, we kind of knew that, you know, our roster was built well. And uh, we were we were prepared to to make a run in, in our minds, and you, you always are. But you know this year's worked out, and I think it's just because you know the hard work these guys put in, and, and the depth of the roster, and you know the experience that we have. So you saw you saw it coming. Like I, like I've told a lot of people, you know we were able to win any game that we played this year, um, and we, we we won a lot of them. And I think it will continue, and in, in the Elite Eight will be able to win those games, uh, but. Winning's not a right, and uh, if we don't play well, well, we'll lose. Absolutely, uh, Ferris, Ferris State is uh, you know a prominent Division II right now as far as winning programs go. And like I said, uh, again, it's just about the coaches here. It's like a coaching clinic every day, just walking around the office and the athletic department. And um, I feel blessed to be a part of it, and um, you know a small part of it. But we're doing our part, and uh, we're going to continue to do our part. And hopefully, it leads to more wins. But if not, then. You know, there, there's just been so many stories, Eric, about, you know, this year's team um, and how it's affected other people, you know, outside of basketball and beyond basketball. Those, those things are just as special, and uh, we, we hope to have that type of impact moving forward. And now, I mean, you guys have had a target on your back all season because what you've done in the GLIAC and being top five most of the year. Being the number one seed, does that change anything, perception? Are you telling your kids to handle anything differently? I mean... Being the number one seed was available, so we went for it and we got it. And uh, national championship still available, so we're going for it. And uh, we want the one seed. We want all the one seeds we can get. Uh, I think it's a beautiful thing, and uh, we're we're lucky to have it. So as far as pressure goes, um, these guys like the pressure. There's no other way to explain it. If they didn't, we would have lost a few more games, and you know that's what that's what we do some years. So. Um, I just think everybody's worked so hard on our team, in our league, in our, in our region, uh, in the nation, and uh, you know, eight teams are lucky enough to be at this point. And it takes a little luck too. And there's several games this year where you know, good fortune was on our side, and um, you know, I, I just think it's special to be at the Elite Eight, and we're happy to be there. I heard a little bit about Barry having some size. Um, I'm not really sure much beyond that, but um, I'm pretty pretty confident with us and even some of the smaller guys on the team. You know, they. They're they're big at heart. So you know they'll run in, they'll get a rebound, even though they maybe shouldn't have. So you guys have played so many close games this season that you know you're finding a lot of success in the tournament. Do you feel like you're playing your best basketball right now? Absolutely, but I feel like we can always play better. You know, and um, that's something that Coach Bronx has always preached to us: is continue to peak. You know, don't don't hit your peak yet. Continue to grow all the way through, and then hopefully we can just peak at the championship game. So we're trying to keep growing. To have the number one seed, you guys have had the target on your back all season. What's that been like, and do you kind of relish having that target on your back? Um, we know we have the target, but we still go in there thinking of ourselves as the underdog. You know, we know who we are, we know what we want to do, and we can still look at ourselves as the underdog and, and, and change the script when we go into a game. So we feel like we have 
you know, a lot to gain rather than everything to lose. Right it's definitely been growing. I mean, uh, after that Elite Eight game, I had a bunch of people congratulate me, like just walking around on campus. It's kind of fun, you know, to, to have people know who you are and, and love what you're doing, and that makes you love what you're doing so much more. Um, it's been really exciting, especially having all the home games and playing in front of the Big Rapids crowd and on campus and just having a home home crowd and the support around the city, so it's been real fun. You've had some Division One tournament experience as well. How do you compare those two experiences to this one now? Um, Division One, I mean, we got put out the first round by Kentucky, and you know, now we're in the Elite Eight, so just making it deeper and um, just having a different role, too, and being more involved and stuff. So it's kind of different. Um, and then just a different type of team, different type of style to play. And, you know, we, we, we went on the road for the for the uh, tournament games when I was at Stony Brook, and now uh, we had the home games here, so the home court advantage was playing in front of the home crowd was a, was a big help. You guys have, you know, played so many close games. Uh, it feels like you're really playing your best basketball. Is that how you guys feel about how you're playing right now? Uh, yeah, around this time, this is when we want to play our best basketball. This is when everybody want to play their best basketball. So we know on any given night, if we do have an off game, it could be a, a, a loss in the SNRIC. And so right now, we just want to focus on having to plan the best as we can and you know everybody stepping up as much as they can. How do you guys handle having the target on your back? You've had it on your back all season, and especially now that you're the number one seed. How has the team handled having you know, all this attention on yourselves. I mean, we're kind of used to it now since it's been like that the whole season, so we don't really think about it too much. Um, coach, he helps us get through it. Um, we just come practice and prepare every day and take it step by step, and we don't really think about it too much. We just come out and play, and you know, whatever happens, happens. Uh, just us becoming close, you know, we do a lot of team bonding, and that's why I really think that, which led us to being here in the league. And what would, uh, what would it mean for you guys to bring a title back to Big Rapids? It means a lot, definitely to the school and, you know, first, first national championship. That'd be pretty big.